From the version 2.6 of Prusa Slicer, you can also use organic supports. How to use them and how they compare to the popular tree supports of Cura, I will show you in this video. The organic supports in Prusa Slicer start on the print bed with a large base area and become thinner and more branched in the Z direction. However, the finest supported area is still as large as with traditional supports due to the branching. The trunk and individual branches of the organic supports are hollow. This makes them particularly fast to print, saves filament and they are still strong enough to support the layers above them. Normal straight supports consume much more filament and print time for the same supported area. In a direct comparison of traditional supports with organic supports, you can save more than half the amount of filament and printing time for the supports in most cases. Another advantage is that organic supports can also reach places that are difficult for normal supports to reach. In many cases, they can protrude into an opening from the side. Straight supports would have to be printed on the object below, making them harder to remove and leaving twice the residue. You can find the setting for the organic supports in Prusa Slicer under the support structures in the print settings. Here you can set the style to organic. One of the most important settings for the supports is the overhang threshold. You use it to specify the slope at which support structures are to be generated. You can also enter zero to have an automatic detection and generation executed. With the manual input, higher values result in more supports and lower values in fewer supports. You can also paint on the supports or in other words, you can manually define areas where supports are to be generated. Especially for complex models, this is very practical to control the generation of supports at critical points of the object. You can either manually paint the surface on which supports are to be generated or you can use the smart surface detection feature to click on the surfaces that are to be supported. The latter is especially useful for objects with flat surfaces. If you have problems with the print bed adhesion, you can increase the first layer expansion. This creates a wider footprint for the supports, increasing the contact area between them and the print bed. The higher this contact area is, the better the print bed adhesion will be. A common problem with support structures in FDM 3D printing is that they are difficult to remove or they leave residue on the surface. You can prevent this by increasing the Z distance of the structures to the object. However, you should not set the value too high, otherwise the support function will decrease. In principle, the organic supports from Prusa Slicer pursue the same goals as the tree supports from Cura. They are supposed to save filament and printing time and additionally reach places on the object that would not be accessible from the print bed with normal supports. To compare them, I printed the same object once with the organic supports and once with the tree supports. I tweaked the settings so that the weight of the filament for the supports is identical. What is noticeable when looking at the two finished objects is that the structure of the supports is fundamentally different. The organic supports from Prusa Slicer look very organic as they branch out into round shapes. The tree supports from Cura branch in entirely different ways and have more of an angular shape. Except for a few places, my 3D printer had little trouble printing the organic supports. However, with the tree supports, there were difficulties with almost every layer. This is also the reason the object is a bit elevated. Cura could not effectively create tree supports that could support the object directly on the print bed. I had to print it three times to work properly. I had no difficulties in removing the supports with either version. However, this feature in particular is extremely dependent on the parameter set, making it difficult to compare. So far, I've mainly used Cura for my FDM 3D printers, but the organic supports are so impressive that I'm considering switching to Prusa Slicer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and I will see you in the next video.